Hey guys, this is an update on the Logan Kelly case. Logan Kelly is the ex-college basketball player that briefly played at Rutgers University. He's about 27, 28 years old. Went down to Tijuana, Mexico. Slipped this girl's throat at a Tijuana strip club. That's right. Walked right up behind her. It's on video surveillance tape. It's clear as day. Pulls out a knife. Slits her throat. Takes off running. She hits the ground. She bleeds out. And he is chased down by security and actually detained and arrested inside the club. Now, the United States media didn't cover this story very much. And that's not surprising to me because as an American that's lived in Tijuana, Mexico for 17 years, I can tell you that the U.S. media only likes to come down and report about bad things that happen in Mexico. They don't like to report about things that a clean-cut white American comes down and does, especially violent acts like this. But I've covered this on my YouTube channel for the last couple years. This will be the final video. I'm going to give you updates of some payoffs that were made, updates of some court proceedings, and just tell you guys kind of how the whole thing played out. So basically, after he kills this girl, he's arrested. A lot of people from a lot of different news media outlets contacted me because of my YouTube channel. They wanted to know what I thought was going to happen. And I told them this will be a slow extortion process. Guys, the fact of it is in Tijuana, Mexico, there's a saying, con dinero baila el perro, with money the dog dances. Well, money was paid, the dog has danced, and this guy got off light. Unfortunately, he got off light. He got 22 years. He's not even going to have to do the whole 22 years. Uh, can you imagine in any state in the United States, if you walked up behind a girl and you slit her throat, you'd be in the chair, you'd be on the gurney, or you'd be getting life without parole. Okay? He got 22 years. And he's also going to be eligible for a prisoner exchange treaty program where he can come to the United States and do his time. I don't know if he's going to want to do that or not for reasons that I won't get into, but here's another thing that struck me as odd about his plea agreement. $40,000 was paid to the victim's family. The victim, Miss Montoya, had a four-year-old kid. Not sure if it was a girl or a boy. So apparently the forty grand was put in an account or give to people to help with the kid. Who's going to grow up without a mom because of this asshole, Logan Kelly? So think about that. $40,000 is nothing. But who paid that money? I guarantee you it wasn't Mr. Logan Kelly. I mean, this dude probably didn't even have a job, okay? He went to a couple different colleges. His basketball career never took off. And he apparently tried to record some rap songs, and they didn't work. I mean, I just don't think he had $40,000. What I think happened, and this is my opinion, is I think the dude's mom helped him out because she had helped him out before. In the description below, you're going to see a link to a video, and that video is done by a girl who had some sort of a relationship with Logan Kelly. I'm not sure if she just knew him as a friend, if they were dating. I'm not sure what the details of their relationship were, and I'm not going to speak for her. But what I can tell you is, if you watch her video, you will find out that she was absolutely terrified of this guy, okay? She had to go to court. He kept showing up. She was asking for restraining orders, and this dude's mom was with him the whole time, okay? Let me tell you something, mom. You don't act like your kid acts, okay? You, don't, you can't just walk up behind people and start slicing their throat, okay? And if anyone in their right mind thinks that a person like this needs to be walking around after just 22 years in prison, that's not right. People like him can't be walking around. You know, it's either one of two things. Either one, he's, he's batshit crazy, or two, he's like a little punk that never had any consequences. I think he's probably crazy. You'd have to be crazy to do something like that. But I think another part of it is he was never held accountable. He's never had any consequences. Because everyone knows, everyone knows, you don't walk up behind somebody and slit their throat. Terrible. Now, as an American living in Mexico, I've been down here for 17 years. I can tell you something right now, guys. Mexico is not a perfect place. Neither is Detroit, neither is Chicago, neither is New Orleans. 
it is what it is. But I can guarantee you the money, the payoffs, did not stop at the $40,000, okay, for the victim's family. I guarantee you it didn't stop there. Money changed hands, and that's how come this guy got away from doing a lot of time or life for this horrific crime. Who's paying that money? I guarantee you it's his family. And I can tell you one thing right now. Um, that's absolutely terrible. And I do hope that whoever paid this money, you know, when when they pass on, that you run into Miss Montoya and you can face her. And you can know that her life, her kid being raised without a mother, you know, obviously had a monetary value on it. And obviously your your kids, your family member's uh, life, Mr. Kelly's life is obviously worth more than her life because she's gone. She can never come back. But once again, we're supporting Mr. Kelly and, you know, that's just bullshit. He should sit down in there forever. She's gone forever. Why should he get out early? It's not right. Money talks. And, uh, you know, money talk today. So, guys, that's the end of the video. That's the end of the Logan Kelly story. I'm not going to be talking about it anymore. Um, let me show him right here. Forgot to do this. That's him. That's Mr. Logan Kelly. This is him and the girl that he killed right there um you know i just wonder why they're sending logan money all these years while he's in prison and they're paying for his protection in prison or they're paying for his alcohol that you can get in mexican prison or they're paying for his visits with girls that can come see him in mexican prison because they do allow conjugal visits in prison you know i wonder are you going to be sending any money to that family down there or is that just over and done with but um Guys, for those of you who don't know, my name is Luke. I operate a YouTube channel specifically dedicated to Zona Norte in Tijuana, Mexico. Zona Norte is a legal red light district in Tijuana, Mexico, okay? We talk about the girls, the bars, the beaches. We talk about a lot of stuff that a lot of women, quite fr frankly, don't want to hear, but a lot of guys do want to hear it, okay? But I do news stories from time to time on things that happen in Tijuana, Mexico, and tonight I wanted to update you on the Logan Kelly case and let you know that it's been closed when you got 22 years. Smash that like and subscribe button if you want to. If you're thinking about doing any tourism in Tijuana, Mexico, watch my videos. I do reviews of all the clubs. Send me an email. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Tijuana, Mexico is a pretty cool place to hang out. Um, because of Mr. Kelly now, at all the strip clubs down in Zona Norte, there are metal detectors right there because of Mr. Kelly. So the clubs have taken steps to ensure that this never happens again, and that's a good thing. And um, like I said, I'm just going to end this video by saying that, um, you know, he's trash, and whoever's helping him, they're trash too. Absolutely no excuse for this kind of bullshit. Um, so it is what it is. We'll see you later.